How you going, big world? It's KJ Cool here. Let's go! Today we're going to be talking about Ellen DeGeneres and her fall from grace. Is it really? I don't think so. I think she's always been unkind on the inside, but she's just been found out. That's all. People have had enough. It's 2020. Enough already. Is she a bad apple? Or is she just, you know, trying to deal with Hollywood, trying to be tough because being sensitive in Hollywood, it, it would be easy. People that make it, well, they got, they got to be tough. Have you seen the president? He doesn't care what anyone says, for real. So Kevin T. Porter, he's a comedy writer and has a podcast. Maybe he wrote for Ellen, not too sure. But anyway, he did put this, a tweet out saying he'd pay $2 to the LA Food Bank. He got a lot of responses, let's just say that, from ex-staff members, stars that had been on the show, all over. The responses, he says, <laughs> was not ready for. The door had been opened, and once it's opened, you can't close it. So a former employee has written, I feel like I'm not alone in this. We all feel this. We've been feeling this way. I've been afraid to say anything because everyone knows what happens when you say something as a black person. You're blacklisted. I feel angry about the way I was treated and I'm always going to stand up for black, indigenous, Latino, Asian people, regardless if they are around. This was a staff member who was obviously not treated very well, whether it was to do with race, whether it was a mean producers, hire staff members, the, you know, who knows? But Ellen is the boss of it. She can sack people who are mean. She is the one telling them to be mean. She can't get out of this one. She can't say it was the producers. She can't say it was the other higher up employees because you know what? She makes the rules, everybody. Which leads on to my next part of my story. It's not often that I have insider information. The boy I grew up next to my whole life childhood is the Breen Dog. Only saw him last night, had a big family dindins. And uh, now he's some big boss man journo who is in the know. So I believe him when he told me this story. So listen up, people. This shit's for real. So when he was the producer of the Today Show and he's there with Dickie and they've told him all these rules. Don't look at her. Don't talk to her. Don't just stand behind that screen and pretend that she's not there. The only person that's allowed to go and speak to her is Dickie, who's doing the interview. Okay, that's just that's just my little story. You telling me she only does that to uh, Aussie producers? I don't think so. She does that to everybody, man. She's rude to everyone. Is it to protect her? Nah, I reckon she's just goddamn rude. And she's probably just had a gut full of Hollywood. At the end of the day, who makes those rules up? Who doesn't say, don't look at me, don't say hello to me, don't approach me, don't... I mean, uh, a complete oddball. That's just my opinion, okay? Oh, thanks for the hot tip, Breen Dog. Uh, even though that story was out days ago. But anyway, I got it in the real time with the, from the real person. People keep saying, is 2020 cancelled? Is this just cancel culture that's happening with Ellen? Well, I don't know about you guys, but where there is smoke, there is fire. And there's a lot of smoke around Ellen at the moment and there has been for years but it's definitely erupted since the COVIDs because you know why everyone's freaking lost their minds they've lost their jobs no money blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> everything everything that's right Karen everything what are we gonna do now Karen anyway what are we gonna do now is we're gonna actually look into what Dr. Grande says. You know he's the doctor of the mind and he's always got the greatest. Well, it's not advice, it's just the way to look at the situation. It gives me a different perspective. I don't need to listen to the crazy hype. Toxic work environments are quite damaging. Therefore, if the allegations are true, I hope the conditions are addressed. At the same time, perhaps for some of those complaining, for example, those who were mad because Helen didn't say thank you, it may be worth exploring the idea that sensitivity is not always useful. Somebody can be too sensitive, just like somebody can be not sensitive enough. That's actually a pretty valid point, Dr. Grande, because Nikki Tutorials, she was the one that came out big, big mad that Ellen didn't say hi. I mean, I guess just the social mores of saying hello, saying thank you, uh, looking someone in the eye when you talk to them, you know, just everyday human social mores she doesn't seem to follow our ellen 
Now, I don't, I don't have the answers for that, but Dr. Grande said, you know, if you're going to meet someone in Hollywood, don't, don't be thinking they're just like an everyday person. They've probably got a million problems, and they've got a million, like, uh, narcissistic issues that they want to always uphold, like all these things, like not saying hello, blah, 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 blah. It's like a power trip. And it always seems to be the running theme in famous people. The more famous they get, the more outrageous their demands, the more outrageous their behavior, whether it's good or bad. So it obviously is something that comes along with fame. Not many people start off being outrageously bossy and having all these rules, except for maybe Kanye. <laughs> I think what it comes down to for many people is not so much that Ellen is some type of horrible person, but rather she seems hypocritical due to the fact that she promotes the be kind message. If she had only selected the less popular be mean message, she would be fine now. I don't know if this is true or not in the case of Ellen, but I think with many celebrities, I actually just run under the assumption that they're going to be different in their public persona than they are in person, in their private persona. I think that one could even make the argument that the very characteristics that allow somebody to be successful, as Ellen has been, are incompatible with being kind. Incompatible with being kind. That's the problem with being a famous person. Everyone put their hands up who wants to be famous because <laughs> being kind apparently is on the down low. It's uh, easier to be mean. I can imagine people just harassing you all day, every day. Can I have your autograph? Can I get a selfie? It just, I think it actually turns people nasty. I am not invalidating anybody who has been dissed or affected by Ellen. I believe there truly is some horrible things that's been done by her staff to other staff that she has demanded and her, her like producers have upheld. Like having to eat chewing gum before you enter your room if you might have bad breath. A lot of people don't know they have bad breath. Believe it or not, my nose is very sensitive to everything. I feel that having my strong sense of smell is actually my problem. And the only people I would ask to brush their teeth or have a mint are, oh, look, seriously, the closest people to me. <laughs> I could never just ask staff, everyday people, like, come on, Ellen, get a grip. Everyone, there's a lot of other people out there that have got strong sense of smell. And my nose isn't even big. It's got nothing to do with that. It's just, it just happens. So suck it up princess and stop carrying on like a pork chop that's my hot tip to you elan so in summation today we've covered a lot of stuff that's come out and my big scoop on the matter because the guy i grew up next he had the big scoop he met her for realsies so i mean there's got to be some a lot of truth to the story that she's just not that nice hey maybe she's just not a very nice person and um just because she's a comedian doesn't mean that she has to be nice. A lot of comedians are actually very depressive. They're very depressed and they're pretty quiet. So she's just one of those comedians that's, you know, in her everyday life, nasty. She's nasty like Janet Jackson. Ow! I think Dr. Grande brought up a lot of cool points as per usual. You know, there's a lot to go over. But guess what, Ellen? You got a lot to answer for. Even if you're famous and you're all skew if because you've got narcissistic issues, uh, whatever, man. You've just got to be a nice person and stop saying to everyone, be kind to everyone when you're not. <laughs> That's actually the irony of it all. Like her tagline for a million years has been be kind to everyone. And now it's come out that she's not kind. <laughs> she really should have chosen another tagline. Dr. Grande was so correct on that. Yeah, everyone expected you to be the kindest person because that was your tag. So anyway, you built you built the beast, Ellen. Now you're going to have to, you know, sort it out. Do it. And don't misunderstand me here. I'm not laughing because she's not nice. I'm just laughing because that was her tagline. <laughs> Be kind to one another. Yeah, Ellen, you nailed it. Because every time you said that inside, you were saying, be unkind to everybody. <laughs> yeah, Ellen, you fooled us for years. We ain't no fool. We ain't no fools no more. We know you're as dark as the darkest darks. I'll tell you what, 2020 has opened up many doors dark doors actually uh, of humankind it it's been a real year of change and seeing some bad bad stuff so uh suck it up all you baddies we're under you the world is onto you <laughs> 2020 is 
gonna be in history one of the toughest years for humans and everyone's just had enough that's why all the baddies are getting called out everyone's had a gutful everyone's just like yep sick of you guys and uh time's up that's right ellen time's up and you're a very rich lady apparently net worth 350 million dollars so i understand you give a lot away to charity yeah that's good because that hides the dark side i think you loves the money but yeah great cover give it away charities everybody but then on the inside you're like ha, 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 i'm so unkind i hate everybody well it's the end of the story and as i said at the beginning where there is smoke there is fire and you know that don't you ellen you big small head anyway love you big world thanks for watching i guess i'll see you next time have you guys ever thought about subscribing liking commenting sharing pressing that bell you may be as cool as Joe Cool, nearly as cool. He's a pretty cool cat. Anyway, you can check out my merch. I'm not monetized. Are you guys kidding? If you want to give me money or support, well, subscribing, all that helps, but buying some merch. Oh, man. If you bought some of my merch, I'd give you free good vibes for the next 50 years. Now, that's a bargain. Cheers, ballers.